Hello again, Toronto Star readers, even those of you who just read the horoscopes. It's me, Corey Mintz. This week we're making Bucatini Carbonara, which is Italian for... How does this translate? It uh, means like, uh, this guy, this is not my kind of guy. But in Italian it sounds much nicer. We're going to need some diced pancetta, minced garlic and shallot, eggs, lemon, I got a lime, chopped parsley, and Reggiano cheese. Step one is to crisp up the pancetta, which is fully cured, unsmoked bacon. We'll add a little garlic and shallot, and then pull it off the heat so we don't scramble the eggs. Any long noodle will do. I like bucatini because it's hollow and carries more sauce. Transfer some of the pasta water to the cooled pan to build the sauce. Put the pan back on the heat. Add the eggs and a bit of the zest and juice Bring in the hot noodles and let the egg thicken the sauce. The great thing about making carbonara is pretty much everyone has the ingredients in their house. Noodles, eggs, bacon. Tomorrow night I'm doing it for some vegetarians and I smoked some eggplant, so we're going to do an eggplant carbonara. This particular recipe, and there's so many ways to make it, this particular recipe comes from Cora Vitello of the Harbor Room, so thank you Cory. And uh, correction for last week's column, uh, Musashi Miyamoto did not invent the sushi pizza. That was Thomas Jefferson. So thank you very much to the readers who pointed that out to me. I'll see you next time for The Star. I'm Cory Mintz.